Welcome to the only comedy podcast on the internet. It's the Coffee Jelly Hour, episode 57. I'm Tony and I'm joined by Ace, Matt and Seth isn't here. We're preaching caffeine, motherfuckers. How are we doing? Are we all okay? Can you, believe, can, can you believe we've been doing this for seven years? <laughs> seven? Feels longer. Seven years. Feels longer. Yeah. Feels longer. Listen, we I am... We started this, we started... What, go on, we st- Wait, what? what? Did we? <laughs> we've gone through some time slip. Really? I was say, you guys have not been doing this for seven years. <laughs> feels like. No, feels longer. That's what I said. We haven't. A- Ace, is, Ace is a bit crazy. Listen, guys, um, I just wanted to say, have we all been watching the live-action um, episode of Black Mirror, which started last week? Really, really good. It's going to go on for four years. The Wait, the what? The live-action? Oh, have you seen oh, it? Oh, okay. The li- Hold on. Uh, yeah, it took, me, seen it, it took me a second. To- that, tell me that. It's not real. Tell me that's, that is a live-action. It is. You, oh, it absolutely they're is. Actors, yeah, they're yeah. actors. They're actors. They're actors. They're good. They are good. Now and again, you think, nah, a bit cheesy. You can, yeah, you can see the train a bit too hard. But so yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to bring you down by starting the episode with that. But yeah, a bit fucked up. We all, we all. Okay. No, we might as well, we might as well get it out of the way. Although, should we, should we put a fucking trigger warning? Because at least, at least we get the decency of the of the 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 seven or eight or nine or four hundred people who listen to us. Uh, that that we might talk political for a little bit. And I like to say that I don't I don't care for trigger warnings on the most part. But I feel like when you're a comedy podcast, like Ace some podcasts life is claim a trigger. To be, oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, well yeah. But when you're a, when you're a comedy podcast and you get into your fucking uh, not religious, but you get into your political agenda, it becomes very unbearable to listen to, as I've heard many times and mm-hmm. have turned off many a podcast. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah. true. This is true. So, so I feel the, I feel the need to say that we might talk political, and yeah. therefore you should skip to uh, this time right here, the ending. Yeah, and then you'll you'll you'll, you'll get be the, happy. The proper impression. <laughs> Uh, it's been a bit shit, hasn't it? You know, I mean, you can either sort of c- compare it to sort of like, I don't know, an episode of Black Mirror, or I'm thinking the movie Idiocracy, really. <laughs> it's like, mm, yeah. Yeah, there's I, that too. I, I yeah, kind of want to yeah. watch that movie again, but I'm kind of scared to watch it because I'm like, this is this is it now, basically. It's fucking happening. Yeah. Point, point being, everybody's stupid Everybody has terrible extremes. Nobody knows what the fuck they're doing. Our world is screaming and dying. And it just feels like people aren't really caring about that because man said grab a pussy or some shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's true. It's true. Yeah, yeah. More more and more people are posting bullshit about like, I can't believe we have a reality TV show, man, as president. It's like, well, I want I want President Macho Man Randy Savage. I want Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh, yeah. I want Bruce Willis. I'm sick of these career fucking politicians. I don't give a fuck. They've been fucking our system already. It's time we change it. I don't care for Trump. But don't don't mm. use the fact that he's an outside of the box politician to be like it's so bad now. That's not that's not an excuse. Get, that's the yeah. one good thing about him is that he is an out of the box quote unquote mm. fucking politician. Don't fucking start with this. Or the people are we have an orange Cheeto man? <laughs> I love the fact that I uh, that it gave me an excuse to post a Martin Luther King Jr. quote. Judge a man not by the color of his skin, but by the content of his character, motherfuckers. <laughs> it's true, <laughs> but it's also that, yeah. pretty hard when the man looks like a piece like of a fruit. Sh- yeah. True. <laughs> and, and, and he, <laughs> is, he is horrendously <laughs> orange. I just think that... Like, yeah, it's ridiculous. If you don't have actual criticism, don't fucking this make is superficial true. criticism. Guys, yeah. I made it, can, I make, can I make just one more joke about his appearance? This is actually a joke yeah. I've made before. I made it on Twitter, but I want to make it right now one more time. Go cool. on. Guys, we should be less embarrassed that we elected Donald Trump president and more embarrassed that we elected his hair. <laughs> it's true. It is true, yeah. <laughs> Every time I see him on TV, I just focus I have, on his hair. I have like, big hair. It's luxurious. Don't listen to what Matt says. My hair is beautiful. It's luxurious. Guys, I have the best hair. It's the greatest hair. It's bigly awesome. We love it. It's <laughs> good. It, it houses oh. my very good brain. It's oh. it's 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 my freaking huge great. Brain. It's huge. It's <laughs> although huge. It's although to be <laughs> fair, the man became president. So I, I I always feel weird when I make fun of him because I go oh like my dick goes soft. Like I start getting kind of <laughs> like oh fuck me. Yeah, he, I know. He, he just proves that no employer can ever ask your qualifications ever again. 
<laughs> that's true. But yeah, I, I, I have, I have, I have a few, I have a few uh, umbrages, and they, they've been bothering me. And I, I gotta voice my fucking opinion. And I tried, I tried to sort of be civil about it, but it's like a celebrity's wife, with whom we all like tweeted literally a week ago. She tweeted a thing that like Twitter is is a private industry, and they have the right to blah 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 ban people, and it isn't about freedom of speech if you're uh. forwarding hate speech. And then just yesterday they posted a big thing about free speech. Now you shouldn't kick that Twitter writer off or, or that, that SNL writer off. Oh, I'm right. like, wait! Literally last week you went on this big like Nazis yeah. shouldn't be allowed to say stuff and blah 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 because oh. Twitter is a private thing and you shouldn't. And it's like, okay, where, what happened to that? Oh, because somebody you like said a mean thing to Trump's kid. <laughs> It's all bullshit. Like, I'm sorry, freedom of speech doesn't work that way. Did you did you hear about that bot? There's a bot on Twitter that retweets stuff that says, uh, they, and they changed the word uh, bl- uh, white people to black people, and it was banned like within, oh. like within a day. And it's like that's kind of telling about our current structure. And I'm not I'm not getting into racial division. I'm just wow. getting into the whole options of freedom of speech yeah, right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and and I'm really agitated because the idea that it's like. Somebody can get away with saying, you know, Donald Trump should be afraid of leaving his house. Donald Trump is going to be assassinated. Oh. And if you were to say that same rhetoric about a Hillary Clinton, for instance, yeah. which, by the way, I hate Donald Trump, but I don't support Hillary Clinton. I, for one, am against luring children into your gingerbread house and eating them. Okay? <laughs> I have a strong strong platform against that. that I'm, I'm uh, very strong well, against that. The house looks tasty. Looks very it tasty. is tasty, but have you, do, you, do you remember Gretel Gate? Do you remember yeah, Gretelgate? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's... Although, I'm, I'm sorry <laughs> to start slamming on... I'm, I'm jumping topics, but speaking of Hillary Clinton, I like how everybody talks about how Donald Trump's wife is a, is a model, which, by the way, I'm fine with. My whole liberal agenda is that I don't care that his wife is a model. I want naked pictures of Donald Trump. I don't really want them, but no. like that, that doesn't <laughs> bother me. Like, like the point being is that naked pictures and being a model shouldn't be a point of shame. Like no, all these no, people who say they all. support Pinchelet, remember in his book when he talks about uh, Grand Justice Ron Jeremy? Oh yeah, yeah. I want that. I want. Yeah. I want there to be porn of all of our representatives. Fuck it, one nation under a motherfucking groove. But instead, all these liberal types are like, "Oh, those conservatives sure are dumb. She's a model." Mm-hmm. Why are you shaming her? What about what about the fact that Hillary Clinton's husband was in literally the biggest deposition in fucking presidential history? His whole fucking lying mm-hmm. thing. I know, I know there's yeah. bigger shit that's happened, but but one of the I biggest know. disgraces that ever happened to a president, and she stayed with him surely for political but, great gain. I, I, so why is one scandal the scandal that like he married a model more important than when somebody points out like, well, you know, Bill Clinton did cheat. Allegedly, Bill Clinton cheated. Come on, you're being very racist and sexist against old wasp women yeah yeah like I, and, and again I'm not I'm not trying to get down on Hillary I'm not trying to get down on Trump because Trump is a fucking monster oh, he yeah. is a vile vulgar disgusting creature he has proven time and time again he is a terrible and Matt made a very brilliant Facebook observation about uh, w- 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 g- give us a rundown of it really quickly uh, which one the one that you the, the, liked? like the environmental yeah the environmental oh hang on I'll, I, like well that. there's more stuff to add to it even today so hang on because oh this yeah is yeah I, I saw the, that before. Yeah, the point of it was I gotta find it again. But the the basic idea was uh, things Trump has done so far made reproductive health care for women less accessible in the entire world, not just America. Pushed through a pipeline to produce more oil. Forbidden the EPA to interact with the public or the media. Thrown a bunch of fits on Twitter. Broken federal law by trying to advertise the jewelry his wife oh, yeah. was wearing on a government Fucking website. Hell. Forced a national park to remove a social media post about climate change. Made it more expensive for potential first-time home buyers to purchase their own home. Oh, and by the way, today he said that the American taxpayers are going to foot the bill for a $14 billion wall between the United States and America. Is Jeez. America See, great again yet? That see that that is that is the dialogue that needs to be having. But unfortunately, the dialogue that we've been seeing, the forward dialogue, has been about his son. It's been about his wife. It's been about like how uh, ugly he is or how stupid he uh, is. Uh, you're reading the wrong like, places because everywhere I'm reading has been having the dialogue that I just had. <laughs> I I feel like the surface level dialogue has been terrible, and that's mm. where that's what I'm trying to maintain because I hate. 
I hate digging into it because it turns into an echo chamber. Because you either go to a conservative website and it's all about like, this is why you are right. Or you go to a liberal website and it's like, this is why we are right. And you don't get a non... And again, it's kind of mm. impossible to have non-biased news, but I try not to go into it because it, it, it... Everything exists in absolutes, so I only go off of a surface level, and the surface level right now is the most superficial fucking skin-deep garbage there could possibly be. The general trending is like... Either people being smugly self-aware and it's the worst shit ever, or it's or it's just superficial critiques that have nothing to do with actual policies, or the worst yet, and we've all fucking seen it, people going like, well, he sure is sexist and racist. And it's like, the wall isn't about racism, fucking talk about something else, you <laughs> idiot. <laughs> the wall's about him being a fucking idiot who doesn't know how to fix a problem. Immigration, illegal immigration, is an issue. I'm not against it. I'm not for it. It is an issue. It is something America has been dealing with. Mm, One of the issues is that people don't want to talk about, man, I feel like such a fucking conservative dirtbag. One of the issues about it is that people don't want to talk about it because if we accept immigration Mm -hmm. and we don't, uh, we don't lobby it. We don't. We don't. We don't regulate it. Yeah, yeah. These people can get on insurances. They can clog our system on welfare and blah 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 blah. Well, and, and, and I'm not. I'm not saying that I, for one, care. I'm saying that no, no, we're I'm ignoring just, that. Oh, I was just gonna say. I want to say. I want guys. This episode's hilarious, by the way. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the only I just, I want to say uh, there was actually a really great uh, Adam ruins everything about. Uh, there was a really great episode of Adam ruins everything about illegal immigration this year. And uh, one of the things it pointed out, and it's true, is that part of the reason illegal immigration is becoming such a problem is not because uh, there's more people illegally immigrating to the United States. It's because they're staying here, and the reason they're staying here is because we started to crack down on the border because when border security was uh, not as tight... They would come back and forth. They would come over to America. They'd work for, you know, mm. like a, a week or a month or whatever to make the money they needed. And then they'd go home to bring it to their families. But now once True, they're yeah. here, they go, oh, shit, I'm here. I don't yeah. want to be – now that I'm here and I've made it into America without getting in any kind of legal trouble, I don't want to risk going back yeah. and getting into a legal trouble breaking True. back True. into Mexico. Yeah. So, yeah. Or, or you don't want to be shot walking over there by right. some idiot. So there used to be the... more of a kind of revolving door policy going on, just kind of under the true, table true, yeah. uh, revolving door policy, and now there's not. Now there is, well, we've made it this far, we might as well stay here because there's a possibility we're not going to make it back. Yeah. yeah. And that's 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 very, very apt. The, the thing, that the reason I have is that the dialogue shouldn't be about whether or not it's mm-hmm. racist. The dialogue is that Trump is in over his head, and he thinks that that's his solution. And and I hate to and I hate to play devil's advocate because it's not a good idea. But as somebody who spent his entire life in California, as somebody who lived across the street from Fields, those people are fucking suffering. So all these these bleeding hearts, I've never seen anybody go out there and help these people out. These people who are working in the fields day and night. For quarters a day. I've never done it. I've turned a blind eye to it my entire mm. life, but living in California, I was surrounded, like I was in the central coast of California, which is overloaded with illegal immigration. People turn a blind eye to it. It's it's a sad reality that these people come here and they have less than anything. They're they're picking berries at a nickel per dollar. And it's it's embarrassing and it's sad and and nobody's nobody's helping them. But at the same time, it's like the second somebody says something against it, it's like you're a racist. And it's like no, he's trying to create a solution to a problem that it's retarded. And I can't say that word because it's mean, but it's just it's fucking inept. No, he you know what? Terrible- it's an actual. It's no, that's a that's an apt word like i know a lot of people like but in some case like that is an actual medical term for like an actual thing and in this case yeah it's pretty much that yeah well you know what's a better a better better medical term anemic donald mm. trump is anemic when it comes to this it, it it's the fact that i think he sees a solution but he doesn't quite get the gravity of it but so many people are like well he's just a racist 
No. Donald Trump fucking worked harder in black communities than Clinton did. He worked harder in poor communities than Clinton did. So many people were so self-aware because they're smudged college students or young adults who are on with their life and they're not thinking about that low, low income area that Donald Trump was going against. And it's like, he tried really hard and he's talking about immigration because it's a poor person problem. Mm. Rich people are the ones who hire the immigrants. Poor people are the ones who are like, well, I can't get a job because because Don Padro over there got, got the job instead of me. Even though Don Padro or whomever isn't the illegal. But it's still like, well, I'm, I'm, I'm venting this and therefore they're seeing the solution to the problem. It's just... It's so agitating because I'm so sick of the, the dialogue of racism not being about fucking race. It's about illegal immigration and like, oh, I hate him because, or I, I, I love him because he hates Mexicans. It's not about fucking hating Mexicans. He did that really stupid PR move where he tried to eat a taco, which I think was really dumb. But I, I get what he, he's like, I don't hate Mexicans. I'm, I don't know why he, everybody has a fucking Southern accent right they now because I'm mad. Yeah, when, I'm, when I'm mad, everybody has a twang. <laughs> I just, I just, it bothers me because I, I keep seeing more and more people rallying behind the stupidest shit. I see people going like, you know, like the women's right rally, which is a beautiful thing, and it's like, I'm so proud but ashamed. I'm ashamed because I keep seeing like, you know, I went out, out there with my baby. My baby's out there wearing a shirt. And I'm like, if I'm against going out with your baby wearing a God Hates Fag shirt, I'm against going out there with your baby and pushing your political agenda on it. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. I, I'm sorry, but I, I, I have to, I cannot like one and, and, and be okay with the other. Like, yeah, like, it's true. Yeah. It blows my fucking mind when I see people again, celebrities mainly, posting things like, my my autistic son was crying all day because Donald Trump became president. Your fucking job as a motherfucking parent is to make sure that the kid isn't yeah. upset about that shit. He's got 18 years before he has to deal with that kind of garbage. Yeah. Don't sit there and be like, if Donald Trump becomes president, honey, I'm going to have to kill you in your sleep. Yeah. yeah, I don't want to die no, in my that, sleep. But that's Donald the thing. Trump yeah. is gonna ruin. He's gonna drop a bomb. We're all gonna die. Obama was the only thing keeping you safe. I don't want to die. I that's hate the thing. That Protect your fucking kids. You're a parent. It's as easy as that, isn't it? Really, fucking. Yeah, hell. Like, it, like it's it's Jesus it's okay to Christ. let your kids have an idea. It's okay yeah. to let them be aware of politics. They've got to be don't. aware. When, when you start when you start posting things like my little girl was crying all day because because Hillary lost and it's like don't let your kid cry over politics make her cry over Bambi yeah your little girl is like 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 seven yeah you, you, she's a seven year old girl and you, and you filled her with so much hate and vitriol that you mm. have to fucking well, it was like that it was like that my what was it it was one celebrity who was like my retarded son or my my handicapped son was crying because the angry man became president and I'm like I'm I'm sorry, but you shouldn't sit there and tell your son these things. Mm, yeah, you should it's, be scared. You should be crying, but don't fucking yeah. project it on your child. Well, it's, it's, it's don't like, let your child be. Yeah, it's true. It's like a while back, um, Pendula, you, all the American shootings, and he was going on about like sort of the kids in his his uh, some other kids in his kids' school. The parents were telling the kids, "Oh, there's been all these shootings. It might happen to you, and if it does happen, you've got to like hit the deck and get under the fucking you know the desks and stuff like that." And it's like. And, and these kids were just shit scared. And it's kind of like the kids. You know what I mean? Don't fucking tell them that. Like, you might be shot tomorrow in school. You know, you've got to still yeah, treat like, them like, like kids. Yeah. Fucking hell. And you don't... Yeah, you, yeah. I'm not saying that children children need to be blind and they need no. to float their reality. But it just seems mean to, to literally rob them yeah. of that, that little bit of safety. Yeah. Like, it, to me, I... When I look back, I realize that I grew up in incredibly poverous and desperate situations. Mm -hmm. But my mom did such a good job preventing me from from being fully aware that we were so desolate. And I'm a better person for it. Like, I really appreciate that because I was able to play with toys and shit and yeah. not... Mm -hmm. Not just sit there and, and cry because, oh, no, O.J. Simpson might kill me in my sleep. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's true. Yeah, that's the, you, you need to live. You're, you're a kid. You need to live in this sort of like sort of happy, happy world, really. And you, and, you need you need to play to with be Star Wars toys or whatever the fuck. You know what I mean? And I was the same yeah, when I was a kid. And to be o oxymoronic, yeah. Like I do agree. I think kids should. They should be aware. It's just when you yeah. start using it, when when you, it becomes this, you know. And the woman's march got to me because it was so much people like this is this is my baby, and she's yeah. and it's like your your baby is four. Your baby doesn't know what's going on. You're just your baby would be happy at home watching TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, the, 
you're not you're not forwarding a political discussion. You're using emotional terrorism. Yeah, yeah. It really is. It is like a form of. I'm gonna play the role of Seth. All right. And say, guys, we gotta read some fan fiction now. Do do we got to? Well, we don't have to if we don't want to. But I mean, (laughs) we can. I feel like that's the crux of the show and the part that's gonna make it funny. Unless I sit here and tell (laughs) jokes, which. (laughs) <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I'm just. I'm. I'm so full of piss and vinegar. Yeah. And uh, uh, if if anybody anybody listen to this, there's a, a video currently out by uh, the amazing atheist. And don't let the title deter you because I already had somebody privately message me and like, you know, I don't know why you're fighting social justice warriors. And it's like that's not what the video is about. But the video is called "Will Social Justice Warriors Win?" But that's not the rhetoric. The rhetoric of the video is basically about how we're fucked as a humanity and how fucking atheists beat religion and how fucking logic is beating that whole bullshit social justice warrior thing but we need to fucking band together and have you know peace on earth now it's the most beautiful fucking thing if oh. neither of you guys have seen it I haven't seen watch it. it it'll fucking it'll it, it, oh. it speaks your language the, when, when he talks about how instead of instead of trying to worry about mm-hmm. later let's make let's make a paradise now let's get good medicine and good yeah, science too right. people shouldn't be starving on the street and and it's so fucking mind numbing when he's talking about it he's you know you know when he points out that trump is just another fucking you know uh, another fucking uh, break in the wall of what was and mm. and, and that's all fucking a, a tumbling uh, institution and we need to fucking you know, band together in the, in the in the face of logic and in the face yeah. of like good blowjobs and shit. And Too it's right. Like, ah, that's that's the thing. It's just like don't miss the important things in life. It's, you go online now and you, everyone's just fucking focusing on stupid people and it's all bitching and it's like we're missing the whole point of life, really, aren't we? We need to Pretty enjoy much. ourselves. Fucking hell. Yeah. yeah. Right. Just be nice to each other. Enjoy ourselves. A talent agent is sitting in his office when this all-American family walks in. (laughs) Father, mother, daughter, son, little dog. And they say, look, we've got this family act. (laughs) Carry on. I I want to sell this one. Notices notices that the dad's wearing an I'm with her shirt. He goes, you're fired. (laughs) Get out of here. I've I've seen seen better families in the back of a magazine ad. (laughs) That is funny. Right. Can I love my sister? Make America great again. It's true. It's true. Can I love my sister? No. Okay, moving on. Absolutely not. <laughs> are we gonna? Are we gonna do it? Wait. Remember what I said? We should read the fan fiction. I take it back. <laughs> yeah. Now, now, okay, now so, you remembered what it is. So. I, yeah, I did. I did. Can, can so, we? Uh, I'd rather listen to the aristocrats. Let, let me. Joke. Let me just. So we're on chapter two. Shall I? Shall I? Yeah. Do you want to do just uh, the, the, the okay, 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 cool, cool. okay. We'll tell the aristocrats joke. Yeah. Okay, no, so no, the no, shooter no, no. walks into a gay club. Oh no, no. <laughs> what? Wait, no freedom of speech though. Uh, no yeah, jokes yeah. On, on on. Never mind. I'm making a bit. That's true. Making it's true. a bit. You are, you I'm are. making a bit. I mean, it's funny that that happened, but I'm making a bit. Freedom of speech though. Mm-hmm. Don't ban mm-hmm. me from Twitter. Hashtag free Milo. You're banned. <laughs> Can I love my sister? Chapter two. Let's read the intro. After, oh. after, after when? Oh, I made myself giggle. After Wendy breaks mm. his heart, Dipper receives comfort from his little sister Mabel. However, all of this affection and comfort makes him think he might be falling in love with her. Warning. Wait, who the fuck? Who the fuck is going to be playing what? Because I, I think. Uh, oh, what was Seth? Dipper, was Seth? but then, and, but, but then, but then Mabel left. Uh, I uh, suppose I could be Mabel. How many? How many are in this chapter? I, I don't know. I, my intention was to play incidental characters, Stop. but so far there haven't there, there hasn't been anybody other than Wendy. Mabel. Uh, I'm kind of dragging Stan. through. Let's see who else is in. No, I don't know. I don't see anyone else. Holy shit! There's a lot of reading for me. I was gonna say yeah. Oh, we no, gotta, it's, we not, gotta, it's not. We can, it's not. It's not. We'll bad. figure it out. We'll, we'll this is the it. only we'll chapter we're gonna be able to read because I'm gonna have yeah. to. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, I'll, I'll take Mabel because I don't really see anybody else. I'll do anybody else, but it just seems like it's just going to be Mabel and Dipper and you'll, prevent you from on. talking to yourself. For... You'll do anyone else, including your sister. Is that what you're saying? Warning, Pinecest, oh. also known as Incest, or in this case, Twincest. Lemons and yeah. strong language. <laughs> I don't own anything, Dipper two. and Mabel. Okay. Two Chapter kids with two. trench coats walk into Columbine House. I was going to say, I hope at the end of this, somebody just jumps out and shouts the aristocrats. 
If not, you're going to do it. It'll be fine. It'll be I fun. probably will. I don't know. Right. You need to do it. <laughs> Look at, looking at the author, I'm having a feeling at some point that things going to end with just, I refuse to write anymore because Trump might grab my pussy. <laughs> I'm, I'm just in a vindictive mood. Oh, I'm, in a, I'm in a shitty mood. Oh, I'm, I'm so sick of the internet. I know, I know, I know, I know. Chapter two. I've got, hold me. Let's be nice to each other. Chapter two. Feeling sick. Actually, oh. how, how are you now, Ace? Because you, you haven't been feeling too good, have you? At all. No, I'm bad. I'm terrible. I'm I, I'm probably dying at this point, and yeah. I have I've, I've been exhausting all of my resources to try to figure out what I'm gonna do oh. because I, I have not I have not yielded. So I've been in terrible, miserable pain for That's a pretty uh, substantial amount of time, and I think it's it's, oh. weigh, it's weighing thin on my fucking sanity at this point. You're supposed oh. I think to go to the doctor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But like, like our healthcare system is so fucked up right now that like but, I'm yeah. scared to death. Oh shit! Like to go to the doctor because I, I'm like I don't want a fucking you know dying is cheaper than than, <laughs> than a hospital bill. Don't fucking Google it, Jesus Christ! I, I have been I've been googling it for a long time. Oh, like, that's what you I've know, been doing. Miss di- and for the most diagnosing part, yourself. resting. Yeah. Well, I'm not, I'm not diagnosing yeah, myself. No. I'm, I'm, I'm using elaboration. I'm not actually dying. Yeah. I'm, well, I'm probably am. Yeah. I think we're all dying, but... From the moment you're born. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Close to the grave. Uh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not pulling a... I'm not pulling a... Well, I have uh, yeah. a stomach ulcer, and I have a te- testicular torsion. No, I'm not I'm not suggesting anything I have. I just... I, I Is this... have such a bad healthcare system that I, I'm so fucking... Uh, I'm like literally waiting to the point that I'm vomiting blood before I go. Gee, right, okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's 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 okay. That's you're not vomiting blood now, no, mm. not yet. No. no, that's fine. Not yeah. quite. So it's it's a stomach problem. Have you been trying yeah. to have you been trying to blow yourself? Is is that why? Because that, that, that can <laughs> we've, gotten to, the, ironic, we've gotten to yeah. the bottom of it. Yeah. We solved yeah. the mystery. I, ironically, ironically. Uh, that's actually apt. Not that I try to blow myself, but one of the here's me, here's me, here's me Don't lie now, Ace. It's all out there in the open. A friend of mine. My yeah, di- whatever. My my self diagnosis. My self diagnosis is I spend a huge amount of time crunched up drawing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And somebody pointed out that you can damage your stomach by doing that because you're basically. It also happens to people Hunched who do crunches up. a lot. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you when your when your stomach is constantly folded in on itself. Ugh. It can cause the acid to fucking damage Gross. itself because yeah. So oh. that might be what happened. You might want to find a new drawing surface. Yeah, yeah. So a little I mean, bit higher. Well, I, I was, I was, I was gonna buy a new desk, but yeah. then I bought video games. <laughs> yeah. So you sort of like priorities. Yeah, crunched up playing video games. No, jeez. Well. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta stand up no, straight. No, uh, I'm I, I'm actually going to be ordering a new desk soon because oh, it is good. my desk is incredibly tiny. It's one of those like fifty dollar ones you get from Amazon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. I, I think I think it's called the recently divorced desk. Mm. Oh, the, wow. <laughs> yeah, I got it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. So anyway, get yeah. well soon, Ace. Get well soon. Jeez, that's yeah. Not cool. Uh, a, yeah. And, and a Mexican guy enters uh, John Benet Ramsey's bedroom. And then uh, we get uh, the uh, Japanese expert to come in and uh, examine all the evidence about the pante. <laughs> the pante, the pante. <laughs> Chapter two, feeling sick. Ever since Wendy, ever oh fucking hell, fuck that up. Ever since the Wendy incident, Dipper's heart had started going back to being well, not broken, but something was still eating at him. Mabel had been doing all kinds of comforting things to make his heart feel better, sharing her candy with him, cooking his favourite meals, and even pecking him on the cheek from time to time, not like a, like a bird. <sighs> For some odd reason, whenever she used to kiss him on the cheek when they were kids, he never blushed. He always acted grossed out and screamed. And screamed. Who's who's? Oh yeah. wait, yeah. which I, I just who's going to be who? I just. So you're you're you're, dipper. you're you're Dipper, and then I'll I'll take Mabel and Incidental. So, oh okay okay I, okay. I really don't see anybody else. Girl cuties. Ew ew ew. But now I forgot what Mabel. voice I did last week if I did yeah. any of it at all. <laughs> I thought you did Kermit. Oh, oh yeah, 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 you're right. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to do that again in Kermit? Do you want to do that again? Mm, yeah, mm. girl cooties. Ew, ew, ew. Mm-hmm, mm. 
But now it's a made... little cross between Kermit and uh, George Lucas. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah, George. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. But now, when Mabel kissed his cheek, he blushed, and his heart picked up speed. He smacked mm-hmm. himself in the face. Oh, jeez, is it me again? Okay. Yeah. Uh, what? Her? Uh, what the hell is wrong with me? She's just doing this because she feels pity for me. He scolded himself. Or was it? Was it just pity? Was it because she was just doing what sisters are supposed to do? Or did he really care for or did she really care for him? He blushed at the third possibility and pulled down his hat in shame. He had to know for sure. Mabel oh, was geez. Yeah. The thing is, or did she really care for him? Well, yeah, I don't know. Mabel was bedazzling one of her own works of art, aka clothing and humming a song that was stuck in her head. It was a very mysterious song, but it was good all the same. A stroke hand. What's that? Oh, 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 She's humming the Gravity Falls theme song. Dipper came down the stairs. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's more, uh, it, that's not it. It's that, that it's a... Uh, da 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 no 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 I believe it goes Young and the marriage Young and the marriage Go together like a horse and carriage This I tell you brother You can't have That's the Gary Fosting song Yeah that's the one That is the one No that's the one That is the one that's the one. That's the one. Dipper came down the stairs Dipper's log. and heard Mabel Final humming. Frontier. For some odd reason, it sounded beautiful. However, he brushed it off and continued to make his way towards his twin. Mabel soon heard the footsteps and looked up to see Dipper. I, oh fuck! I don't know what my voice was. I thought Blues Man, but that fucking killed me last time. Oh, yeah, we'll do, du- we'll do we'll do we'll do we'll do dueling Kermits. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're twins after all. Are the twins? Yeah. Need something, bro? She asked. Dipper looked. I'm kind of like a more twenty-four. I'm Raymond. Sounds That's more like Raymond. <laughs> yeah. Dipper, that sucked. Dipper took in a deep breath and exhaled. Mabel was able to tell that her brother was nervous, but she didn't know why. Is something wrong? She asked, standing up. <laughs> Dipper. Dipper said nothing for a while, but then took, but then took in another deep breath. Mm-hmm. Mabel? He began. Yeah, Dipper? The brunette teen asked, stepping closer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, why are you being so um caring to me? He asked. Mabel's mouth gaped slightly, but then turned into a small smile. Oh, God. Because I love you! <laughs> she whispered. Dipper blushed oh. and gasped. <laughs> Hold on, I can do that better because I love you. She had such a strange whisper. What was Mabel implying? Yes. Uh, um, what are you What are you talking about, Mabel? He stuttered. I'm talking about how I love you, and not just because you're my brother, but because you're my best friend. Mabel explained. Dipper sighed and calmed himself down. Mm. Oh. Mabel tilted her head questioningly at her brother, wondering what was going through his head. She then smirked and slightly punched his shoulder. Dipper looked at her with a quizzical look on his face, uh, then smirked. He then tackled his sister to the ground and started tickling, <laughs> tickling her. Oh, she God. laughed uncontrollably as he, as he, her cheeks turned pink. As he, her cheeks cheeks turn pink. Mm-hmm. I don't know. <laughs> D- Dipper, stop! She begged. Stop, you're touching me! She mm. begged, squirming. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm. what's the matter, little sister? Mm. He joked, continuing his tickling attack. Damn it, Dipper! You'll regret it! I mean it! Mabel warned, still laughing. A little girl like you will never hurt me. Dipper exclaimed, getting under her Wendy arms. dumped you! Mabel's... See, I hurt you! In the soul! <laughs> Mabel's big brown eyes widened for a minute, then narrowed. Suddenly, Dipper felt himself get pushed off Mabel and pinned down on the wooden floor. Wait, this... where are we? 
Uh, We're pin, pinned down to the wooden floor. Oh. Uh, okay, I got lost for a second. <laughs> what the hell? He gasped. Suddenly, he saw Mabel on top of him. He blushed, and his brown eyes shrunk slightly. <laughs> Mabel, what are, you, what are you doing? He asked, trying to stay calm. <laughs> Who's little now? His sister asked in a sing-song voice, difficult in fear. Oh boy. The twins had spent the rest of the afternoon tickling, wrestling, and joking around with each other. Afterwards, when they got tired, they were left lying on the floor and panting for breath. Mm, wow. When was the last time we acted like little kids? Dipper asked, staring at the ceiling. <laughs> Oh, God, hold on. Mabel shrugged her shoulders! <laughs> I was wondering why there was quotes there. Oh, God. Because it's written that bad. Yeah, that's, that's it that's is, why. yeah. Mabel shrugged her shoulders when we actually were little kids! Yeah. Dipper nodded. After a short period of Welcome time. to the world of tomorrow! That's what I'm doing. I had no idea whose voice I was doing there, and it was, it was, it was bothering me. like... Who's uh, this is doing the guy from Futurama? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome to the world of tomorrow. Oh yeah, it is, it is, yeah, yeah. You always have to do that. <laughs> After a short period of silence, Dipper chuckled slightly. What? Mabel asked. Hmm. I was just thinking uh, how short of time it seemed that we were kids, up to our antics and uh, solving mysteries. Dipper explained. <laughs> yeah. Mabel said, shifting her eyes the other way. Uh, I guess this is... God, this is written so badly. Uh, all right, it's, yeah, it's all, it's all yeah. one paragraph yeah. where there's multiple dialogue yeah, it's going on for anybody right, who's exactly, curious. Yeah, so exactly. Bad. That's the problem. Um, yeah. uh, remember when those gnomes tried to uh, make you their queen? Dipper said, looking over at his sister. Mabel blushed and laughed nervously. <laughs> yeah, that was weird as fuck. Dipper nodded in agreement. Mm, and you saved me like a knight in shining armor, more or less. That was me. Oh no, that was you. Like can see, I can't no, even I, tell. I'm okay. I'm okay the with twins, that. The twins, sound it the same. Makes me sound better. I might Ma get to touch a boob. <laughs> Ma Mabel continued. Dipper blushed and nodded. Just fly in and be all naked and stuff, and I'll have sex. Ooh. <laughs> I lost my place. Where are Dead. we? Yeah, Mabel, did you just save me because? Oh, Mabel, wait, that's not me. Why did you fucking tell me? Wait, what? Mabel, did, oh, well, did you just... No, I think it's Mabel still, because I just read... That's the, Mabel. Yeah, okay. That is Mabel, yeah, See, yeah, yeah. Oh, God, just some is punctuation, it? please. Oh, it's fucking awful, isn't it? That's definitely uh, Mabel, because yeah. I read the... the <clears throat> you saved me like a knight in shining armor by accident. That was supposed to be... Yeah, okay. Did you just be, save yeah. me because you were afraid mom and dad would ground you for life if you didn't? Mabel asked. Dipper gasped and looked at his sister. Her big brown eyes were sparkling and full of life and zaniness that, that Dipper had always found interesting in his sister. Mm, I, um... I mean, uh, I, I saved you because you're my sister and I... Dipper couldn't find Sad. the right words to use without sounding Move weird. those luscious lips and say it. Oh, However, <laughs> by, uh, by looking at his nervous body language, flushed cheeks and nervousness in his voice, Mabel could tell what he was trying to say. Dipper kept on stuttering when Mabel said, Wait, I, I skipped ahead. <laughs> it's okay. I found it. We're good. He, st he stuttered for another it's second. It's okay, Dipper. Before realizing okay. what Mabel had said, he turned his head over to see Mabel looking at him. She held out her hand and smiled. Dipper looked down and studied Mabel's small hand. He wasn't sure whether or not he should take it. Uh, mm, uh, wait. wait. What? Small, he was unsure of it. Oh, uh, Mabel, I'm sorry. I, uh, I don't know what I should have. Mabel cut him off. 
Just shut up and take my hand! Dipper blushed and looked into her brown eyes for another moment before smiling and taking Mabel's hand. The brunette teen giggled adorably at her, bro- <laughs> at her brother. Dipper blushed a red colour and looked up at the ceiling. His stomach got butterflies in it and his heart raced. What was wrong with him? He must have been getting sick or something. The next day, the phone started ringing and Stan was finally out of bed, so he was able to get it. Oh, this is coming! Coming! He called, scratching <laughs> his head. He picked up the phone and put it to his ear. Hello, this is Stan Pines of the Mystery Shack. He spoke into the receiver. T- talk to me, man. Hey, Stan. A chipper female voice spoke. Ah, oh, Mandy, nice to talk to you after all these years. Stan replied. Mandy Pines was Dipper and Mabel's mother, and she had decided since the twins loved it so much in Gravity Falls, she would send them back every summer, unless, of course, they decided one year not to go. But so far, they hadn't refused. Uh, I lost my place because I was... How's Danny? Stan asked. Oh, he's injured, but he'll hold up. Mandy replied with a nervous <laughs> laugh. Stan laughed along with her. We're all laughing. Stan laughed along with oh, her. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, your kids are dead, Mandy. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I went to bed and I woke up and they were both hanging. Autoerotic asphyxiation, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, anyway uh, Mandy. <laughs> can, can, you, can, you, can you send more money? I'm really in dire straits. I'm just, I'm just vamping because I completely lost where I was. Uh, Dipper walked uh, by. Dipper walked by and heard. Stan oh, hi, Dipper. <laughs> How you doing? You're, you're alive. Talking to your mom. You're alive. She's a total slut. He stopped and looked. I, I, I was, I was talking to Dipper. He's a slut. He stopped and looked to see he was on the phone. Curious, he walked up to the elder man and tapped his shoulder. Being 15 now, Dipper was now about as tall as Stan, since getting to be an elder has made him slightly shorter. Who are you talking to, Grunkle Stan? Hmm? He asked. Stan looked behind him and saw (laughs) Dipper. I I really don't know what what, what we're talking about. Ah, Dipper, I'm... uh. He answered. (laughs) Oh, I I really don't know where we are. Oh, Dipper. Uh, Let's have a talk. (laughs) The birds and bees, I see you looking at your sister all the time. (laughs) That's weird. You're not supposed to. You don't, st- you don't dip your. You don't dip your. You don't. You don't. You don't dip your stick inside of your sister dipper. That's weird. Tony, you and I will go to you. This is lost. I know. I know. No. No. So like, I have it no works. fucking clue where we are. Dipper nodded and took the phone. He put the phone up to his ear and started talking to her. He told her all about his adventures in Gravity Falls and how everyone was doing. When she asked how Mabel was doing, Dipper blushed slightly and his stomach churned again. Now he was sure he really was getting sick. Never, nevertheless, he told her how Mabel was doing and she was happy about it. After a little while longer of talking, Dipper decided it was time to hang up. Okay, Mum. I'll talk to you later. He said. Oh, wait, you're talking to her. Who the fuck was I? T- oh, God, it's my shoe. Okay. Anyway, how long was I talking to my shoe, Dipper? Come Shut on, we're going to get some cereal. Oh, God, I can never stand you. Get away Andy from said. me, you dirty old man. That's my niece. The uh, brunette. Love you too, Mom. The brunette boy said with indifference. He then hung up the phone and sighed. He clenched his churning stomach and felt woozy all of a sudden. I'd better go lay down, he thought. When Dipper came Not up the with stairs, your sister! We don't need flipper babies! <laughs> when Dipper came up the stairs, he saw Mabel on a bed in a head-over-heels position. She was reading a magazine full of perfume samples, dress offers, and more. Dipper wondered why she was reading that, because she never reads magazines like that. Hell, he wasn't even sure she had read any magazines. He approached her bed... And she heard his footsteps, so she looked up. I don't know why she oh, did uh, <laughs> She greeted her brother with a smile. I don't know what I'm saying! Uh, hey, Mabel. 
Dipper said rubbing his... <laughs> <laughs> I had a bird! I'm reading a magazine, magazine with perfume added to it! I think we're gonna have to stop. He says no idea. <laughs> you really don't it know where we are. It doesn't have... Are you joking? It doesn't have any words in it. It's just it's just perfume ads and magazine it's clipping some women! It's funny. It's funny. Why, are, <laughs> why are all their mouths cut out, Dipper? <laughs> They're all, they all have O faces. Yeah, we're, we're, why? We're, we're, why? What have you been doing rubbing. to my magazines? Yeah, Where's yeah, my yeah. Asian friend? <laughs> Mabel <laughs> smiled. Mabel smiled. I don't know what I'm reading! <laughs> you, did, I'll, I'll just keep vamping. <laughs> fuck yeah, it. Keep vamping. It's funny. It's funny. No. <laughs> Mabel smiled. Hey, Mabel! Dipper, we're, we're going somewhere. We're going to get pancakes. Okay, I guess we're going now. Yeah, yeah. And then they left. Mabel smiled adorably at him, making him blush slightly. He clutched his heart in confusion. Mabel had smiled at him like that, like this, a million times before. So why was it making him feel this way now? However, he managed to shake himself out of the trance and asked her what he wanted to ask her. Uh, why are you reading that magazine? Mabel looked at the magazine oh, in her hands. Oh, it's a magazine! Then back up at Dipper I thought it was said, a, I, I thought it was a book! I, I'm retarded! No wonder I got an F in English! She explained, turning the page. Dip, Dipper's brown eyes widened in realisation. How could he have forgotten her retardation? Mabel noticed Dipper's <laughs> eyes wide, <laughs> wide eyes and giggled. This is the girl. I, I really don't know where you oh. are. I really don't know where I am. I'm being emailed right now. I'm being told that important stuff is happening, and I'm trying to respond to it, but I'm also trying to be Mabel. But what? Okay, fine. I'll, I'll stop reading the magazine. Dipper, I'm consciously aware that you have a crush on me, and I think it's weird. Mm. I, the brunette. Uh, I'm not going to reciprocate that. Mm. The brunette teen girl said in a smart tone. Dipper blushed and shook his head. Why does she keep referring to them as the brunette teen? Like, I know. Who can't... <laughs> I know. Brunette. I, uh, I, uh, I didn't forget. Uh, I just, uh, you know, was thinking about uh, getting a suit as well. Mm -hmm. he, he lied. Mabel smirked. Then Mabel said, I, uh, Yeah, you're right. You almost never want to wear a suit, but unless you want to impress Wendy. She teased her brother. Then Mabel's eyes widened. I found it, finally. What did I miss? And she comes. The story has gone off the rails because we kept going. <laughs> Nobody told me where we were. Guys, we are, we, we are going to have to stop like in a few minutes, though, because I am going to have to go pick my kid up. So Don't worry. Like, the next Don't paragraph worry. End of this something. paragraph, yeah. And she covered her mouth at the name <laughs> she just mentioned. <laughs> I, I just got back on the track. Literally, I veered off. You guys just let me go good. run into a bush for a while. It was we're, good. We're, we're cart racing. I go into the tire fire you've for caught, a while. You've, you've I come back this. covered in tires and rubber and burning. It's like, okay, we're done racing. Oh, we loved it. I loved it. It was good, yeah. And she covered her mouth at the name she just mentioned. However, it didn't matter because... As Wait, soon what as name she did I mention? Oh, Wendy. Yeah. As soon as she mentioned Sorry. Wendy, Dipper's Keep face going. fell. And he started to get tears in his eyes. Mabel bit her lower lip in shame. Oh, Dipper, I'm sorry. I forgot about it. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm Mabel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just, I, uh, I need some time alone to um, masturbate. Before Mabel could reply, Dipper ran off down the stairs. Should we just do this to last masturbate. paragraph now? We'll do this last yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go. Dipper had ran down the stairs out of the house and into the forest he didn't care where he was going he just wanted to go somewhere far away from everyone why am I still upset about Wendy mm. he thought keeping his eyes screwed because shut because you're a homosexual she broke my heart mm. she hated my goiter and she didn't like Jar Jar Binks so uh, <laughs> you shouldn't feel this strongly about her anymore as Dipper continuing sorry as Dipper continued running through the forest his legs kept I got getting it. I got an idea for you kid why don't you sell your love to Wendy to Disney? Okay, you can okay. make a buttload oh, of money. Ooh, I like that idea. It's a, it's a pretty good idea. And uh, yeah, maybe they can... I'm going to give them Jar Jar Binks. They, they'll like that, right? Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, don't, don't worry about that. But after they remake <laughs> your movie, you can complain about it on Twitter. I, oh, I probably will. I, 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 you know, Disney has a tendency to act like white slavers. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, but don't worry, don't worry. The internet will make it where you can direct another one. Dipper. The internet's amazing. I love it. It's it's the greatest thing ever. I mean, they, sure they didn't like those prequels, <laughs> but you know they'll they'll come back around. Mm -hmm. 
The internet is amazing. The internet, you can see the Hunger Game girl's butthole on the internet. Oh, really? It's a great place. I, then I gotta go. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> sure, what's what to do? His legs kept getting scraped and cut by fallen branches and twigs. He didn't really care, though. The aching in his we heart. We turned into autistic Rick and Morty, by the way. That's what that oh, was. Yeah, that was just autistic Rick and Morty. Yeah, yeah, pretty pretty right. The aching in his heart was even worse than any cut, bruise, or break he'd ever had in his entire life. He hated himself right now, and he hated love. He wished that it didn't exist. Then he wouldn't be hurting so bad right now, even though she didn't see him. He was sure he wouldn't even care that she hurt him. Who would care? He thought, and we're gonna end it there, and guys. Dun dun dun. I'm gonna use the. I have. N- what, I don't think what? anybody knows what happened. Uh, I think. I think the past 15 minutes has me been just screaming. Yeah, yeah, it was good. It was good. I liked it. I, I have no it. idea what happened. Bit although, although from what I can, what I can understand, nothing has happened in this story. No, no, no. So no. far, it's been it's been Dipper blushing, blushing at his sister. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just been awkward, really, and nothing's gonna happen. <clears throat> Uh, hopefully next week. Hey, Dipper! I clogged the toilet. Oh, that oh. brunette teen. Oh, be <laughs> yeah, still yeah. my beating heart. <laughs> You're gonna have to use the downstairs one. Oh God. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So guys, someday I'm gonna marry her, and we'll guys, have a set of twins our own. They'll be connected at the hip. I'm gonna use the healing power of my beard right now. And I'm going to yeah. remind you all that if it looks like magic, it is not magic. It is science or worse. So deal with it. And remember, I am not a motherfucking kid. See you all next week. Say goodbye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Yeah, goodbye, 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 goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Well, I forgot how to do his voice. How do I do? How do I do his Greg's voice? Uh, Greg. Who? What is his name? Who? The, the Chris. Well, Greg. Who, I don't know his name. But he's got a deep southern drawl. He's got where's a mask? Eric. Eric. Oh yeah, there I am. Oh, Eric, right how, here. How did you forget Eric? Seriously, We're losing Eric. how the fuck? Should, should have been Eric Eric's instead gone. of Mabel. Could someone tell Seth yeah, that Eric has gone? Although you've Eric just brought Eric is gone, Seth. Eric so is we're gone. Gonna, yeah, yeah. But Ace did bring Eric up, so he hasn't really gone. So, so yeah. See you all next week, guys. Take care. Woo, bye, 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 bye.